hey guys and this is the first lecture of embedded c series on my channel that is to apco.com so i welcome you all to to apco.com so in this lecture we are going to talk about what is embedded c so since i've already covered it in my last video that um, what we are going to learn throughout this series in this channel what we are going to learn so i've told you that first you need to understand programming in c then you need to understand data structure then the third was that you need to understand what is embedded c so since we are going to talk about embedded so i know that i should have started with programming in c but this was a much needed video about uh, what is embedded c because uh, most of the people are confused about what is embedded c and how to learn embedded c so i thought of making this video so this is about what is embedded c so this is a small pdf that i've prepared and here you can see what is embedded c so according to wikipedia embedded c is a language extension of c programming so what exactly this means that it is a language extension of a c programming so it is like you will have all the basic concepts of c whatever you study in c and on top of that you need to understand some particular microcontroller architecture and then to program that particular hardware in c using the mnemonics or using the name of registers or values that are given in the data sheet of that particular hardware that you are using so i know i've used a lot of terms in just a single sentence so here i've written that it is an extension of c used for some specific architecture or microcontroller so it is like playing with specific bits to produce specific results so like c is generally for your desktop computers and making some generic codes like you need to code hello world and you need to code a banking software but embedded c is for some microcontroller based application so you need to understand memory for that you need to understand that particular microcontroller architecture for that so here in my blog i have written about how to programming it program in embedded c so i'll be make a video about it very soon but i wanted you to go through this blog i will put the link in the description and here you can see how to get set started with embedded c so you need to learn the c concepts and apply them in embedded c so for getting started i have given all that you need to do and the very important thing is that you need to start with some particular microcontroller architecture so i have started with avr so i think avr would be a good reference and i think you also need to get started with avr boards so for avr there is a very famous board called arduino so i know arduino is like programming using arduino libraries but if you program the microcontroller that is used in arduino that is at mega 328p then you are programming in avr so then you will get to understand embedded c in a better way so for that i'll tell you that this is all for this lecture and this is what we call embedded c so till then stay tuned to my blog please like share and subscribe my channel and please share it with your friends if you like my content because this was the much needed line so i have told you this in a highlighted form so that's all for this lecture stay tuned to my blog and my channel so that's all